this is Chris the Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. This may have originated from a U.S. Navy study in the 1970s that indicated that sharks were more likely to attack yellow life vests. This would have been particularly significant since the color of yellow is highly visible. So I went around the shop to see what kind of yellow gear we had. Here's a Tusa Tri-X. It's an older fin. I think we use that in uh, classes. Here's another old fin. This is a really old fin, a Tusa Liberator. We have a bear, some sort of bear fin. We have an Oceanic Viper. We have uh, a new Tusa Vesna. And we have a Tusa Imprex Duo. So we have a lot of different fins here, a lot of different yellow fins here at the shop. And here's our mask display. Looks like we've got a lot of yellow masks here too. Here's uh, some kind of yellow mask. Uh, that's a scuba max yellow mask. Here's uh, some sort of Tusa two lens mask. This is a bare two lens yellow mask. This is a Tusa freedom yellow mask. Uh, here's a different type of bare yellow mask. Here's a Mars yellow mask. And over here is a SEAC yellow mask. So, ooh, it looks like we've got a lot of yellow masks too. And here's our snorkel display. We have a couple of uh, snorkel, yellow snorkels back here. This is a Tusa. Uh, it looks like this is another Tusa hiding back here. And then we have uh, a uh, IST, yellow snorkel there. And uh, another IST yellow snorkel here. And uh, I think there's uh, maybe some over here. Okay, here's a, uh, looks like some kind of yellow and black, some kind of yellow and black snorkel here. So, uh, looks like we have a few, uh, a few yellow and uh, yellow snorkels. Here's a excess scuba snorkel. I don't know if that's considered yellow, kind of fluorescent yellow. So, uh, we do have yellow snorkels as well. Uh, and in fact, we usually have more because uh, we've sold so many, particularly this, uh, this Tusa uh, 101 model. So definitely we have some yellow snorkels. Here's some more yellow. This is our technical diving section, accessory section, and we have some yellow DSMBs. Here's some more yellow. In this case, uh, some yellow snorkeling vests. It looks like we have some more yellow. Here, it looks like these are two Mare's um, alternate air source Octos, uh, both yellow. Here's our trip mascot. He's yellow. He's actually missing part of his beak. The dog got to it. We use our mascot during trips to develop diverse situational awareness. And what we do is we put a clip on the chicken here and attach it to an unsuspecting diver. So the way the game works is that if you get out of the water, you get one chicken marked up against you. So while you're swimming around, what you want to do is periodically check your situational awareness to see if you can see the chicken. If you can't see the chicken, the chicken could be on you. At the end of the trip, the person with the least number of chickens wins a prize. This angel shark in the Canary Islands swam right by the diver with the yellow fins, and then proceeded to bite the diver with all dark colored gear. This is an oceanic white tipped shark in the Red Sea at the Brothers site. The oceanic white tipped shark that is attacking the side mount diver at the top of the screen just swam by the diver in the bottom right with yellow fins.
This diver, who is wearing yellow fins, just got his face bit. But I think it has more to do with him kissing the shark rather than the fact that he has yellow fins. Here are our two divers again, and I'm not sure what kind of shark this is, but it looks really big. So the shark is uh, swimming around. It does not look like a CGI shark. It looks like a real shark. And uh, as we come to this scene, we note that the one diver has yellow fins. So the shark is still swimming next to him. It looks like he's panicking a little bit. His buddy on the right is trying to reassure him. And the shark turns and goes directly toward him. He's pulling back. The shark seems to be completely disinterested in his yellow fins. So either it's possible that yummy yellow could be a myth, or the shark could have just had lunch. More recent comprehensive research on this subject does indicate that sharks do not have the proper physiology to see in color. So it does appear that sharks are colorblind. And that yellow gear does not make you any more susceptible to a shark attack. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope you found the video interesting, and thanks for watching.